before you came round My heart would never be much faster Before you came round I was ready to slow down Before you came round I was heading for a small disaster Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be bowing down to your requests over on Instagram. I actually asked yesterday what you guys wanted to see and you guys went ham saying that you really wanted to see the tea rent. It was like, bam, bam, bam. I could not ignore it. So, so many messages saying, can you do a tea rinse video, please? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I use the tea and oils to twist my hair and keep my hair intensively nourished and moisturized and protected. Then I ended up having to do a wash and go earlier than I would usually and these were the results. I actually had an event to go to so I wanted to uh, get my hair into its wash and go state before I went to that. It was a windy day, I got caught in the wind and my hair still managed to maintain a lot of definition. These are the results of my um, treatment with the gloss. Day one, I don't actually have to do anything, neither do I have to do anything on day two, but from day three onwards, I'm gonna show you what I do with my hair. So I feel like the reason why you guys went ham for this request is because if you've been watching my channel for a minute, you know I started with collarbone length hair and I've been able to grow it down to tailbone length and tees and henna have been the staple part of my regimen from the beginning. And today I'm sharing with you the most intensive regimen on my channel ever. This is the Bell Bar Organics tea rinse that we collaborated on, the limited edition one, and it has the most potent and amazing ingredients. You can see that they're still in their herb form and they basically prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, and strengthens the follicles of your hair. So um, the benefits are amazing and I've actually been getting comments from you guys uh, when I look over on the page saying it's really helping hair grow back where there wasn't hair before, it's super effective, and I'm gonna be posting some of those comments here. So I grab one or two teaspoons and I place that into the bag provided and then place some hot water on there. Honestly, I have actually gone up to four teaspoons in this rinse before and I was loving the results. But just work your way up, girl. Don't start with four if you've not used it before. Maybe start with two and then work your way up. Um, <laughs> I almost like pretty much threw in the whole bag one time. So this is my starting point, okay? It's the end of the week. My hair's a little bit dehydrated. It's complaining. It's asking for some TLC like mama help. So I start with a pre-poo Ladies, this is just a straight mix of olive oil and avocado oil and I've put in my rosemary and lavender essential oils as a pre-poo. Then I clarified my hair. Um, for this, I use the Giovanni's 50-50 balance. Um, a little bit too cleansing for me, as in I feel like it took too much out of my hair, but nonetheless, my glass is about to help me out. So this is the Bell Bar Organics um, henna mask that we released. It's got marshmallow root in there. Again, comments on the screen. You don't have to take my word for it. It's got marshmallow root in there, which gives amazing slip and moisture. It's got avocado oil. I mean, it's just got so much goodness in there. So again, just to prevent my hair like tangling up like crazy, I apply the mask and I twist my hair so that it doesn't all get tangled. And I really focus, you can see, I really focus that nourishment on the ends of the hair because that is the oldest part. So I allow that to sit for 30 minutes and then I rinse it out and I come back with the same but as shirt. Sorry, honey, I know it's my baby's shirt, but you know, it's not pretty, that's why I use it for when I do my hair. So my hair feels really, really soft, really, really moisturized. And then once I've moisturized it, I'm going in with the tea. Now the properties of the tea means that your hair is really fortified, super, super, super strengthened. And in order for you to not feel like your hair has been, um, you know, strengthened to the point where it feels dry or brittle, you need to follow up with intense moisture. Here I'm just applying my Giovanni's um, deeper, no, I'm applying my Giovanni's direct leave-in conditioner on top. Now this is so intense, this tea, that if you go to the website, they normally recommend that you actually rinse it out. But I'm doing a ting here, girls. I've been doing it for years and it works. So when you twist the hair, 
Um, I applied castor oil. I'm just applying some castor oil to my strands here. And it's a very thick oil that really, oh my gosh, it makes my moisture go nowhere. That plus twisting my hair up afterwards, it is game set, trust me. And then because I'm extra, I go in again to my ends with that castor oil. Girl, just coat that hair. Believe me, it's gonna absorb into your hair. And also when you're sleeping at night and you put on your scarf, any excess will come off. Trust me, girl. Your hair will thank you. When your hair is down to your butt, come back and tell me I was right. <laughs> Guys, you're going to have to excuse all my squinting. My contact lenses were so dry at that point. So there's just a couple of the twists. I really loosely twisted my hair, but it's enough to keep the moisture in. Um, sometimes I twist it tighter, sometimes I twist it looser. But you can see it just gives a little bit more flexibility. This is two days later. So this is day three. I don't have to do anything on the day after. I've earned that rest, girl and my hair is super moisturized anyway. So here I go in, spraying down my hair. I keep this in the fridge until I need to use it, and I just spray it, make sure I get it in my roots, and I normally massage it into my roots, although I don't know why that clip doesn't show that here. I must have accidentally deleted that clip. This is day four. Again, the roots are looking jacked up, but look at the ends, super moisturized. Yeah, I know. I can sing good, right? <laughs> so yeah, really, really moisturized. Here I'm going in with my hair growth oil. Guys, I told you it's gonna be my full routine. So you can see, if you haven't seen the recipe for that hair growth oil, you need to check that out as well. Amazing testimonials on that. I'm gonna link that for you down below, as well as all of the product information. And I got a bit tired with the front, so I decided to freshen it up with some flexi rods and thing and thing but that was because I was going to be doing an updo and I wanted those curls to stay at the front lost that clip too yeah I'm really good at this job um then I did a wash and go again I used my gloss I had an actual event to go to so that's why I washed my hair earlier than usual and you could see my curls are so popping despite me being caught up in some serious breeze Day eight, girls, I went over a week just to show you day eight. This was after I, I took my little girl to a farm and I got caught in wind and rain and the usual typical UK weather, but still loving it. But it's time to protect his style. After two days of enjoying my wash and go, I normally on the third day, um, go in and actually do protective styles. It's just my ritual. I don't think that has ever really changed. So all those popping pictures that you see on IG are normally before day three or at the latest by day three. So I'm just gonna show you again. Now when I have my hair in a wash and go state, I do not use the tea every day. Where I have my hair in twists, I can spray that tea onto my hair every day because I know that the moisture is being retained in and the balance is being kept. But when I have my hair in a wash and go, it might be three times a week that I will use it. So again, I go in at the roots, I saturate my hair all the way to the ends, especially focusing on the ends and the roots. And then I go over with my leave-in conditioner Giovanni's again, guys, direct leave in. I will link this information in the description box below. And this is again important to maintain in balance because if you imagine a bit of pasta, if that pasta is so, so strong but has no moisture in and you move it, it's gonna break. It's the same with the tea. You need to balance it out with some moisture. Then I follow up with some butters. This is the Care Care Buttercream um, that I'm using. I also really enjoy using Camille Rose Naturals um, butters. Those, those companies provide really, really good butters. Um, again, I'll link that below. And I just use that and I'm just comparing Comparing the elongation of the side that has been moisturized and has had the tea um, uh, just so that you can see it just helps me to keep on top of my hair not being too matte and tangled when it comes to wash day at the end of the week and just because I thought you might find it beneficial I'm going to show you the protective styles that I put into my hair once I've done my wash and go is my crazy hippie phase yes I'm not even undercover hippie I'm just a hippie okay so this is a very simple this will take you like 90 seconds flat just 
put that hairband on and tuck them ends in. This is a true protective style because the ends are not exposed to the air, they're not exposed to tangling with any of your clothing, getting caught in Velcro. Whereas the twists I had before, some people would say were not protective styles, but I feel that it is protective because it keeps that moisture in and prevents tangling. But if you want a true protective style, then ends need to be kept away to keep them from fraying. And this is so key when you're trying to grow that hair, girls. I lived in protective styles. I was afraid to rock a wash and go when I was growing my hair out. Here's another really simple one. It again takes you probably two minutes. I quickly do some jumbo twists on both sides of my hair and then I pin the jumbo twists up. Again, you can leave it as, you know, rocking your Pocahontas style or you can just actually tuck it up. Notice I'm not using a really thin band on my hair there at the ends because that tends to tangle and make a hot mess. And yes, that last scene was filmed in my pajamas low key. Spot the trousers right there, look, 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 look by my hand. <laughs> but don't judge me, guys. I'm being real on social media. If I was being fake, you guys would be calling me out for that too. In any case, if you are not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Also, Bell Bar Organics are going to be opening a long term pop up. I'm going to leave the details below. Opening on the 12th of May. So if you want to go along and see what the product feels like, ask questions, etc then feel free to do so because they're going to be stocking the limited edition curly proverbs line okay peace